this uh, truck, uh, it's only been sitting for like three years. It was used, um, not quite daily, but almost. So we're going minimal tools. All we got today with us is a multimeter, uh, some sockets, an impact, some gas, a battery. We're gonna try and do the basics. We don't even have an air compressor to pump up the tires if the tires are flat. So we're gonna we're gonna definitely drive it home in this episode. But whether we drive it home in today in today's clip, I'm not sure. Um, stay tuned. Um, we're, we're we're gonna go look at the truck. It's the body's a little bit rough on it. Uh, there's a coyote just running across the road here. Um, but so. We're gonna go there. Hopefully it's got gas in it. If we can peel over to the gas station, I'll put 60 or 70 bucks of fuel in it. As long as everything works. This is a, there's another coyote right here. Um, this is a fuel injected uh, unit. Um, so we're gonna try it. Stay tuned, we'll see you there. Well, ladies and gents, here she is. It is rough. Um, you know, we got a little bit of rust here in the fenders. The front end's kind of smushed in a little bit. Looks like it was backed into. We got that mirror. Let's see if our ignition stick. So we have our four wheel drive, two wheel drive. Yeah, the shifter's out of it completely. Um, let's uh, see if we can put that seat back. And here's just our tiny little back seat we got in here. I know you really can't see it. There we go. There's just one back seat, two back seats. Um, let's see, uh, it just shouldn't even have 200,000K on it. Here's our RPM gauge. Right here in the center. I know the sun's bright. Here we are. Our fuel gauge, oil pressure, amperage, temperature. And then we got our kilometers an hour, and there you are, 159,449K. She's got 159,000K. Oh, we do have ignition sticks. So uh, hold that camera, will you, please? Let's see if she's got, why is this not? Are these not the right keys? Um wonder why this ignition switch is not turning. There. Nothing. Nothing at all. So I don't know how to shut it off. I think you just gotta finagle it. Finagle. Anyway, we got our battery. We got a cigarette lighter. Let's, uh, I'll steal you back here. Let's um, see what we got in our, ooh. We do have paperwork in there. That needs a vacuum though. Yeah. I'm not about to stick my hand in there. <laughs> we'll just pretend we didn't see that. Got a couple shotgun shells, full ones actually. Um, so, we've got our signal light here. Washer, min max. Ooh, the old hand crank yeah. windows. I, Watch yourself. These never fail. No matter how long these trucks have been sitting, you can always open these windows. Heat register, old style of radio, Ford radio. We do have a cigarette lighter, and I have an AF, AM FM transmitter. I might actually be able to get it to hook up. So here is our shifter. And so we can actually shift it, I think like that, that should be neutral, um, until I get, this looks like it must be part of the shifter, yeah it is, something like, like that somehow, I'll have to order a new shifter for it, oh here, here's the actual cover for the shifter, looks like it's been ripped out and broken, but uh, neutral, uh, there's drive, two, one, reverse, park, it's all the way forward, so that should be park, and we actually have, weirdly, a brake pedal, so I bet you this truck's got brakes. So, we'll get that battery put in there, and we'll come back.
All right, so here is our hood prop. Looks kind of sketchy in my opinion. So here's that, uh, I'll get you in here. Here's that 2.9 two fuel injection system, no battery. We do have a boat battery if we have to, we'll bring the diesel over here and boost it. I'm hoping not. Here, I'll hand you that battery. So with these forwards, these have a relay here. So if our starter does not work, we can just cross these relays and it'll turn over. So let's see if, good thing we bought and brought our boat battery because uh, this positive does not have a proper terminal. Um, but we didn't bring nuts for them. I'm not that prepared, guys. Okay, you ready? Yeah. No explosions yet. I don't know if this battery's got much of a charge in it or not. Good or bad? Well, let's see. Let's, I'll take you with me here quick. I'll get you, if we have to, to uh, wiggle that red cable there. Taven. So do we have any power? We do have a little bit on our voltage gauge, but nothing, eh? I think we're pretty well dead, so we're gonna... Oh! Wipers are working. Wiggle that battery terminal more. Yeah. Do like hold it down so that it doesn't uh, move. So what we are gonna do is hook the truck up to it. Just and I don't know why I can't get it to shut off. I'm just gonna set you down on the seat here quick and see if I can get this key to turn off. That's a lock and an ignition lock. She's in four wheel drive. Not a single thing. Okay, well, we're gonna bring my truck over here and we'll get it boosted for you. All right, so, I can't turn it over with the key, but like I just said, we can cross this solenoid. And it's wanting to fire. Okay, um, yeah, so I'll hold the camera. And you go in there is and give it, it some gas. Um, I'll stand out of the way in case it isn't, but I think so. Maybe that's also why it's not turning over with the key. Oh. I dropped my nail. So I'm gonna actually come in there, I think, and see if I can get it to say neutral and maybe I can get it to turn over, so scooch over. Well, actually, I'm not going in there because it's must. Well, you have to sit there to get home, so. So all the way forward, that should be parked. adjust the cables make sure they're where they're supposed to be here this one here this one here that one there I'm gonna actually fire up my truck and uh, it's gonna get noisy but once we get this little truck running it'll we'll just get Taven to run over here and shut this one down now normally you don't want to boost the truck running, but my battery's weak on this truck, so. 
All right, round to the old Ranger. These tires, I think, are low, but if we can get them yeah. to the gas station, we'll just pump them all up. Okay, you ready, folks? You want to wiggle the cables on the truck there? Which one? Uh, the one on the on the white truck on the F two fifty. There's my diesel, 73 International F-250. Will she run? It's wanting to. I know this doesn't help any, but. So we should have more power than what we do. Is that motor seems like it's sure quieted down a big time on my 73. Unless the booster cables are just shot, which it could be. Focus. What we are going to try and do is see if we can get it over to this other battery. That also doesn't help. So let's do negative positive like this then.
literally any knob. So I don't know what they were talking about that it had a bad knob. She runs good. We'll go, uh, I think it needs some oil for sure, maybe. Um, might just need a good running first. Hold that for me, please. We'll close the hood. Jump on in. She runs good. All right, moment of truth time. Before you jump in, stand there. We'll see if she's got her hurt. We not got much oil pressure. Um, I mean, it's there. Fuel gauge, I don't think works. Our temperature doesn't work. Our amperage seems right. Seems like it's charging. But uh, I don't know where. Reverse should be one down from park. Oh, so. That should be reverse. There it is. We're moving, boys. Man, this feels different. Big truck Ooh, we got a bad flat on this side. But if we can get her moved, that's all that matters. So before we uh it looks like that one does too. Yeah, that one had a blowout. So we're gonna just shove her and park here. Seems like it's idling high, but it has no knock at all. So for free, the dinger works. So this tire is pretty well flat. I know you guys can't see much until I adjust it. There we go. That tire is pretty well flat. It runs good, like runs immaculate. There's a bit of smoke to be seen. There's that tire's holding air. That tire's holding air. Never checked the front one on this side. This tire's holding air. Just that back one. So we're gonna see if we can limp her off to the gas station, put some air in the tires. Um, I'm gonna grab my wallet, my phone, and we're gonna see what we can do here. So stay tuned, we'll come back. All right, we are trying to get to the gas station. This tire is just horrible. I know I can't show you because I'm driving, but she's running good. Um, temperature, it is smoking under the hood, but it has been sitting for a couple years. Um, we're gonna hope this tire holds air. Otherwise, we're gonna bring it back to the farm. And uh, actually, we have a spare tire and an impact. That's a good idea. And my truck has a jack. So uh, we are going to run back, throw our spare on. And that spare I checked and it's got a bit of air on it. And then we're just homeward bound. Okay, well we're gonna do that then. We'll see. So uh, you may notice um, we no longer have a spare tire in the front of the truck. We just threw our spare on, the old one's in the box. And actually there's a, oh no, I was gonna say there's a second one in the box, but I'd be lying if I told you that. These are all low, but, oh shoot, we forgot to check for that socket. Anyway, we're gonna be back. So uh, it was kind of bogging, kind of still is. Uh, I'm planted right to the floor, losing a 
60 kilometers an hour. And uh, it says we have virtually no oil pressure. It, could, it, it needs a good oil change. Rodnock kind of was bad when we pulled into the gas station. Um, at this point, we're almost home. We're, we're, we're getting near there that if we had to, we can uh, just get pulled the rest of the way home, which I don't think we will. I think I got it in first gear. Power steering works. Brakes work amazing. Uh, we're just cruising down the old gravel road, coming up to someone here. Get on our side of the road. And uh, yeah, we're just cruising down the road. Uh, we'll let you know when we get home. We'll do a uh, interior clean and some other stuff. But uh, that'll do it for the Will I Run portion. It's running at three grand RPM. Buddy's hauling hay here, I gotta get right over it for him. We're not really gonna slow down much. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, cruising along. Power steering works fantastic, brakes work. Once we put our spare tire on, uh, we're good now. Yeah, I planted, we're at three grand. Uh, looks like 6,000 or 5,000 where it needs to be. Rodnock isn't terrible. Uh, only it's got 160, 159, 512, and it is working because it is counting. Um, so it is working. You can see it counting. Um, stay tuned. We're not done yet. If we die, I'll turn you back on. Otherwise, we'll get it pulling in the driveway. So I never really did do a formal outro. Um, the truck is home now. As you see, it's a beautiful little truck. It runs. Ooh, there's a coyote. Um, good oil pressure, so it was low on oil. I figured out, uh, I figured out our uh, key situation. So these old trucks uh, have a button on the column right here. You push it up and it turns the key off. So uh, should fire right up. I got some fill of sale paperwork that I don't want you seeing. But our knock went away 100% now. Here we go. So with that being said, thanks for watching. She runs good, drives good. Stay tuned, we got some LED headlights we're installing. We got some side panels. We're gonna bang out these side panels in another episode. We got some LEDs installed. So 